いよほいよほいよほいほい。Ahoy, mateys! Welcome back to another video, and today we're going to talk about Zox Gold Tweaker. Now, of course, this isn't actually going to be a video about this toy. If you want that review, check out the link down in the description so you land blubbers can enjoy it as well. Okay, so enough talking like a pirate. I don't really know how、uh, that sounds, except like、uh, if you imagine like Tom Kenny's voice from SpongeBob, like.、Uh, Two hours later, you know,、uh, something like that. But, anyways, let's talk about Zox Gold Tweaker in today's video. So, he is Two Kaiser, or as fans would like, like to call him, he's Go Kai Gold, or、uh, Gold Kaiser, or whatever you have in、uh, your Mimi mind. So, anyways, let's talk about his character today. So,、uh, other than the fact that he transforms into.、Uh, To Kaiser, so what else does he bring to the table, and what、uh, kind of story would he have, you know,、uh, going forward? So, anyways,、uh, this video is、uh, recorded actually just after his、uh, debut, so we really don't know much about him other than the fact that he is, of course, to Kaiser and.、Uh, He is basically,、uh, you know, at least、uh, the shout out to Go Kaiger in、uh, the fact that he is aboard his own machine.、Uh, we're going to talk about that later. And、uh, he also has his crew. Now, speaking of、uh, Zok's、uh, Go Tweaker first, okay, so let's talk about our main,、uh, let's talk about our captain for today. So, Zox Gold Tweaker seems to be a space pirate, but、uh, he also has access to similar technology that、uh, the z e n k a i j e r s use. So, his、uh, transformation device slash weapon, the Go,、uh, Go Daringer,、oh, sorry,、uh, Gear Daringer. So, yeah, I had to、uh, check because, anyway. So, yeah, he has the Gear Daringer. And he also has a few Sentai gears of his own. Well, at least we have three that we know so far. So he has his own Sentai gear that he uses, of course, to transform into to Kaiser. And he has two more Sentai gears that give him the ability to transform into、uh, to Kaiser Katana and to Kaiser Diki. So, speaking of those, so he. Is accompanied by two、uh, small robots actually that look like SD Gundams. So we have、um, uh, Katana and Diki, respectively. Again, they give him,、uh, they're based on Shinkenger and O Ranger, respectively.、Uh, we're going to see them more in episode 9. Although, of course, there is already a video out on YouTube. The Zen Kaiser file episode 4, which shows us how Two Kaiser transforms and how not really how Diki and Katana are going to be used, but they do appear in the video. So, also along with Zox, he has his little sister with him, Flint. And、uh, speaking of Flint, I'm not sure if she's going to transform. Probably not. She's going to be one of those non transforming allies that would stick around for the rest of the show. But for、uh, what she's worth, I would see Flynn as, again,、uh, Zox's assistant,、uh, helping him look for Sentai gears. So, you know, we're going to see more when future episodes come out. Now, going back to Zox. So, During his initial appearance, he、uh, says that he is looking for Sentai gears. Now, before episode 8, I initially thought that he was talking to Kaito, but we're going to have some spoilers here.、Uh, just a little bit of spoilers in this one. So it turns out that he was actually talking to Stacy. Now, this actually brings up an interesting point. So, speaking of Sentai Gears, and when he 
saw the kinds of Sentai gears that the Stacy has been using, the ones that he used to summon all those giant robots and uh, the fake copies of uh, the Super Sentai. So, Zox actually shows his disappointment and even destroys those, well, fake Sentai gears. Well, obviously they're fake because uh, Kai, uh, Kaito has his own Sentai gears, which I think are the genuine Sentai gears. So, it turns out that the Sentai gears that uh, Zox has been looking for are actually the Tojiru gears that contain the trapped Super Sentai, which I guess actually makes sense because they are gears and they contain the actual Super Sentais that have been trapped in there. Thus, they are also, in a way, Sentai gears. But for what reason? So this is going to be what we're... uh, So this is what we are going to have to look out for in upcoming episodes but yeah interestingly just like the basis for his transformation go kaiger so of course uh he is looking for the powers of the super sentai uh again uh we don't know what he's going to use them for yet so we're going to have to watch out for that so okay next point now speaking of zox when he was introduced, oh, you guys uh, noticed the song from the beginning, like yo ho ho yo ho ho yo ho ho Now, uh, this is actually uh, kind of uh, inspired by actual sea shanties. So uh, he also dances uh, during his transformation, and by goodness, <laughs> that has to be the most—I don't know, like. Pain in the neck transformation to try to learn, you know. If you're going to attempt, like, cosplaying as uh, Zox, for example, uh, if you want to learn the transformation, like, you're going to have to learn that exact choreography. And you think Kyoryuger was already wacky enough to do that, and then we go over the top with Zox and his transformation into two Kaiser. So, I mean, okay. So, the reason that, well, it kind of looks good and, you know, Zox kind of has a nice voice is that because his actor is actually a, a performer. So, he is a singer and dancer. So, it's just natural that they pick someone who can sing and dance uh, to portray Zox. So, very interesting uh, decision by Toei there. So, again, he is very much inspired by actual pirates. Now, uh, I'm not really sure about pirates, but, like, to anyone who has ever played the Assassin's Creed series, for example, if you specifically played, like, Maybe, uh, especially uh, 4, Assassin's Creed 4 and Assassin's Creed Rogue. Probably to some extent, I do think Assassin's Creed 3. I'm not sure about that, but definitely 4 and Rogue because they involve pirates. So uh, they will sing, uh, they will sing sea shanties or, well, if you guys love Spongebob, so, uh, you know. A lot of the music uh, has been inspired by sea shanties, you know, like, what should he do with a drunken sailor early in the morning, you know, something like that. And, of course, again, the dance is, well, you you would kind of uh, think that he is kind of a merry pirate, but very interesting touch there. I do like it, but, uh, well... It's going to be difficult if you're going to want to imitate it, <laughs> at least the transformation. But uh, everything else, yeah, quite interesting. So, uh, again, uh, so Zox and Kaito. So, for episode nine, as per episode nine's preview, by the way, uh, it's not out yet. Only episode eight has been out so far, as per this video recording. So. He doesn't have any 
negative intentions towards Kaito. In fact, he doesn't even know him. Like, uh, what are you guys? You know, exactly. It's uh, it's exactly what he says upon meeting the Zenkaider. So uh, they probably haven't heard that uh, other Sentai Gears exist. And uh, there is a team that uh, uses the similar technology in order to fight. So, uh, what I'm seeing, however, is there is going to be not really enmity, but rather a rivalry between them, uh, at least starting from episode 9. But uh, I really do see that they would become very close friends real fast. I mean, Kaito doesn't really see him as a bad guy, I think, but you no. Know, it's uh, going to be an interesting dynamic between the two of them, at least. And considering that they are going to be a team eventually, uh, that's not a spoiler, that's an eventuality anyway. So we could probably expect uh, the rest of the Zenkaijers aboard the ship, which is actually uh, Zox's uh, personal robot as well. So it's called the Crocodile O. And just like to Kaiser using uh, Katana and Diki, it can also change forms. So yeah, uh, I'm excited to see that. And if they're going to combine, who knows? Uh, um, I don't know, probably not. Again, we're going to have to wait for future episodes to see that. So, anyways, uh, I think that's all I have in mind for now regarding Zox, aka 2 Kaiser. So, again, if you're actually interested in seeing the review for this toy, if you, especially if you haven't watched it yet, I'm going to link it down in the description. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching. And, as always, please do leave a like, comment, share this video, subscribe, and don't forget that notification bell so you get the latest from JE Fusion. This has been Philip. And I'll see you ashore.